Well, here we are on the Shinkansen, the bullet train, getting pretty close to Kyoto. We've uh, left Tokyo a couple of days ago. This is just such a magnificent country. The culture, the food, the landscape, the architecture, the bullet train, everything about it is just absolutely superb. I can't tell you how much I'm enjoying this. We're going to be in Kyoto for four or five nights and then we're on the move again. But just what a feast this has been. We're traveling I think at around 300 kilometers per hour. It's just such an engineering feat because this has been running I think since the 70s or 80s. And I think the Japanese were the first to get the bullet train running. I wanted to talk about travel and the importance of travel on so many aspects of our lives, but certainly photography. Photography allows us to observe with a different sense, with kind of a different viewpoint. There's, there's a Shinkansen. <laughs> As you can see, it was moving so fast that there was clear rolling shutter. But travel with a camera, certainly if you're shooting, let's say, a DSLR, an SLR, rangefinder, mirrorless, and you're using your EVF or your viewfinder, it really, it really makes you have to stop and focus and see things. And I really love that about photography and travel. And to be traveling with my family is just such a, a pleasure and an honor. I mean, my kids are eight and 10, although my oldest is turning 11 tomorrow, which is pretty awesome. She's having her 11th birthday whilst we're traveling overseas in such a gorgeous country. But it's just so good to be here with my family. Now I'm using an interesting piece of tech and this is the DJI Pocket 3, which just got released. And I have to say I'm really, I'm really enjoying it for this sort of just catching the moment whilst you're moving quickly because we are carrying a lot of gear i'm carrying a lot of gear plus all the gear that we need to travel with a family of four and what's amazing about the the dji pocket is that it has this casing here which you can just pop it in and that protects the gimbal and the lens and it's it's, it's a lens cap it's a cap for the screen if you get the extended kit it comes with this microphone and so you get really good quality sound and that that's what we want we want really good oh this is such amazing landscape i'll have to i'll have to show you now you can see here we're going at such speed that you can see the rolling shutter now those pylons are only 10 feet away 12 feet away so at this sort of speed you'd expect nothing less but beautiful landscape, beautiful mountains, as we just fly past house after house. If you've never been to Japan, I thoroughly recommend it. It's just such a beautiful country. It's also such an industrious country. Everybody's working so hard. Everybody's so polite. It's just so wonderful. The importance of travel. 
COVID-19 meant for five years, there's been pretty much no travel in my world, that and young kids, and just kind of getting everything back in order. It's taken a little bit of time, it's taken a little bit of effort, but here we are, Japan, Tokyo, and now Kyoto. And it's just reminded me because the last time I traveled five years ago, my channel was just getting off its feet. It was just starting. I was just experimenting with ideas and getting things out. It has made me think more often about my craft and the craft that we all love so much. And travel is really fantastic for giving you a new perspective. It forces you to look at the world differently because I am seeing streets, locations, buildings, people that I've never seen before. And that creates a new way of thinking and it's really helpful as a photographer, any type of artist really, to always be pushing yourself. Okay, I am here to get breakfast. Butter, bread, eggs. I love these supermarkets. We have 7-Eleven in Australia, but it's just not this good. This actually sells good food that you want to eat. That's if I can find it. And they sell alcohol, which is one thing we don't sell. A pocket-sized gimbal camera that puts pro-grade stability and powerful imaging right in the palm of your hand. Introducing DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And now after a few days of using the Osmo Pocket 3, I feel very comfortable in telling you this is a great companion when traveling with DSLR or mirrorless cameras. It's something that can just slide into your pocket, you whip it out of the little protector that protects the screen and the gimbal, and you can be shooting informal or formal things within just a second or two. It's very easy to use, it's very quick, it's very flexible, and it's extremely stabilized. I chose to go for the Creative Combo Kit, which includes, on top of the basics, you get an extra battery, you get the wireless mic, the mic 2, you get a foot stand and the wide angle lens, along with a magnet that allows you to clip the microphone to your shirt if you want to clip it underneath. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is a really useful camera, and I think this camera system has matured to the point where it's extremely useful in all sorts of scenarios. One of the areas I was most concerned about is low light, but it certainly seems to be doing low light really, really well so far in my testing. So basically it's been able to handle everything. And if there was anything that I would want to add in a new version of this, it would be maybe a little more of a zoom. Right now, it is only a two times zoom when you're in 4K video, and it appears to be a digital zoom when you're in stills, so it's not really of any use in stills, but it is useful in video. Other than that, the stabilization is amazing. The picture quality is fantastic. The gimbal is very smooth. The ability to have wireless sound is super useful. You can USB-C connect this directly to your computer and download files as if it's a hard drive. And you can live stream from this device, which is super useful. I haven't done that yet. I will try sometime soon. This is a first look at this device. I think it's an absolutely super duper useful travel companion for the photographer who can capture things very quickly and informally in one hand, basically, because you can operate this one-handed. Anyway, we'll talk about more of this soon. I mean, one thing that's pretty important is keeping ourselves fresh. And <laughs> when you've been doing what I've been doing as long as I have, which is professionally just about 34 years, and as a hobby prior to that for something like another five years, 
So we're talking just shy of 40 years at this point in time. Keeping things fresh is actually pretty critical and travel certainly helps with that. But we also see new and different things. Seeing new things is also just a lovely and exciting stimulus. And for me, streetscapes, cityscapes, that can be architecture, it can be geography, it's people. All of these things help to stimulate, to create new things and invigorate. We've got to keep ourselves invigorated. That's, that's really critical as well. It's just such a wonderful place. We're having such a wonderful time. And I'll end this video by showing you some images and video captured over the last few days, including our time at Disneyland. All right. Please let me know in the comments below, have you been to Japan? Do you like to travel? What is your travel kit? And would you be interested in the DJI Osmo Pocket 3? It's been so good to see you. If this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, and please like, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.